Welcome to another video of Word PLS video series. In this video, we will talk about how to prepare data for Word PLS. The best method to prepare data for Word PLS is that you prepare it in the Excel file. And here, if you can see, I have this Excel file which is containing all the data which I want to analyze using Word PLS. So what you can do is you can start from here and in these rows you can write the name of your items or the name of the question or the variable that you are trying to uh, get data. So as I have written the gender age, this is bi, this can be considered as one construct and all of the items of one construct are given here. Next construct is the S construct and all of its items are here. And then there are these items of LV. So th there are mainly three constructs here. When we will upload the data into the Word PLS, it is automatically going to detect these names of the items. And then it will be easy for us to form the construct uh, from these items. Now, one other thing that we need to remember is that let's suppose if we have one sheet in the Excel file, then Word PLS is obviously going to take that one sheet into consideration. But if you have more than one sheet, in the same file, for example, if I have three sheets and there's a data on the second sheet, there's a data on the first sheet and consider that there's a data on the third sheet. When we will be uploading this data into Word PLS, Word PLS will only going to consider the data which is there in the first sheet. So if you want to um, analyze different data, what you can do is you can keep the data in different files and not in the different sheets. So this is how you can prepare data for Word PLS. In the next videos, uh, we will talk about uh, all the steps that are involved in analyzing the data in Word PLS. And this is going to be our, one of the steps when, where we will be uploading this data into Word PLS. Thank you very much.